Okay, so I'm trying to start working on my Halloween special right now, and like, I have ideas, I really do, but I just, I don't know which one to focus on. Well, what have you got so far? I have a couple different concepts, well, a couple main concepts. I have some stuff written up for them if you want to see. Sure. This first one is like, there's this girl who likes her friends, but then they don't like her for some reason anymore and stuff, and I'll just pull it up actually. Goodbye, Zoe. Bye, Mom. Amber, guess what? I just heard back from- The- Them- And- Amber, are you okay? You should get to class before you're late. Uh, okay. Sure. Um, sorry, Amber. Hey, Jen, over here. Jen? Can I tell you something? No, thanks. Not right now. Oh, um, okay. Why is she sitting with Natalie and Dustin? Hi, hello. May I sit here? Sure. What's your name? Mary. Does, does everyone here seem off to you? Sorry, that's a weird question. Yes, actually they do. That's why I was sitting alone. I don't usually sit alone. Do you want to go outside? You know, away from the stupid cafeteria. Uh, sure. They're like changelings or something. Ah, okay. I thought that one was good. The whole thing would be longer, right? Yeah, it would be. I'd just have to think some filler to add. At least you're self-aware. Anyways, I don't really have a lot for this next one, but here it is, I guess. <coughs> Take your medicine, Nina. It will help. It doesn't. I feel like it's helping. Sometimes things have to get worse before they can get better. It is working, I promise. Okay, Mom. Michelle, listen. We are not doing this, Dave. I told you not to call me. I don't want to hear from you. I can tell. Oh yeah? Listen, the thing with Linda, it was one time. Sure, like I'll believe that coming from you. I did so much for you, Dave. I got along with your stupid friends. I cut off the friends that you hated. I fit myself into your lifestyle even when it hurt. I'm still washing the smoke stains off the walls. I raised your daughter, your horrible little daughter, for all these years without even a whisper of complaint. And this is how you thank me? You're not the only one who's had to make sacrifices, Michelle. SHUT UP!
Alright, fine, sure, I can be the bad guy here, but you don't have to bring Nina into this. Oh, so now you care about her. I don't... Just because I wasn't there 24-7 doesn't mean I didn't care. That's just how it was, and it was fine. I used to wonder if you only married me to have a babysitter. But that doesn't matter anymore. Goodbye, Dave. Like, dark in the wrong way for a Halloween special. You'd have to have some big content warnings, and it just seems like a bad idea. Other people have done way darker stuff on LPS Tube, and it's been fine. Yeah, but they could... I don't know how to phrase this. They could actually pull it off. It just seems like you wanted to write a drama, to be honest. Maybe a little. This one's pretty good, I think. Oh, Trinity, I wasn't expecting you here so early. Sorry. It's alright, come in. It's great to see you again, Sierra. It's been, what, like five years? Your house is beautiful. It's nice to see you too. Who are those people in the photos? Oh. Them. They're just some friends of mine. Well, not the kids. Oh, uh, alright. How have you been, by the way? Fine. How about you? What's new with you? Since the last time we've talked, I mean, everything, really. But recently I started working at this fish and chips place. Not exactly what I wanted to be doing at this point, but it's better than nothing. It's actually pretty near to here. Are you talking about the place on River Street? Yes, actually. That's very interesting. It's the first door on the left. Weird. It was really nice talking to you. Yeah, totally. Really, really nice. Hmm? I'll just see you later then. I'm sure. Well, bye Trinity. dumb enough to show your face around here for weeks, months even, but no. Look. We interrupt this program with breaking news. Four bodies were discovered in the Opal River west of Falls Vale. Keith Ingman and Lisa Ingman, along with their two children, Haley and Asher. The matter is currently under investigation by the Falls Vale Police Department. Citizens of Falls Vale are urged to be cautious when going out, especially alone or after dark. If you have any information regarding the victims, please call the number on screen. I repeat, if you have any that one. Feels like the most Halloween-y concept too. Thanks, it might be the one I end up going with because I have at least aim to fill in. Just need to add more for Trinity and Sierra's conversation and then that's kind of it. I just hate how short it would probably be though. Having a three minute Halloween special would be kind of anticlimactic. I don't think so. If it's good, I don't think it being short would even matter. You'd also be less likely to have to rush things. Yeah, but Halloween only comes once a year and you don't get it, do you? No. The next one kind of has the same problem, honestly. gather here today to honor the life and memory of Walter Arkwright. He was a beloved member of our community, a friend, a father, a husband.
Mom, you'll be staying upstairs in the guest bedroom until we get the old game room redone. I know it's not ideal, but... Oh, I know, I know. You've already told me this three times. Yeah, seriously, Mom. You don't need to keep rehashing this. Aubrey, do not talk to your mother like that. Sorry. <sighs> it's alright. Good morning. Good morning, Sandra. Was everything all right? Did you sleep well? Oh, everything was fine. I woke up for a while in the night, though, and I almost felt like I was being watched. Very odd. That is odd. You do. What? I thought I... It's nothing, dear. Don't worry. Okay... Hello, Eva. An old woman dying peacefully in her sleep. A tragedy for the family, so soon after the death of her husband, too. Maybe she went to heaven. Maybe her brain simply shut down. Regardless, they can take comfort in knowing that she left this world painlessly. So painlessly. There's no point running, Edith. No one out there can help you. They wouldn't believe you, what you saw. Your husband didn't even believe his own eyes. It killed her husband, now it's gonna kill her, oh no! What do you think? It was alright. The seeing a demon no one else can see is a little cliche, but that doesn't make it bad. I don't think it's that cliche. She's old, so it's sort of different, cause... And that's as far as I've gotten. That was so lame! That sucks! That meta crap with the LPS tuber is not smart. It's just that I don't think anyone's used it as a framing narrative before and that- And maybe there's a reason for that! Also, why is the writer one non-binary? You never refer to them in the third person, so it'll be impossible to tell in the actual film. Like, what's the point? For sure scrap this thing, though. But I, I have 17 more mini-stories for it. Oh, Jesus Christ, why? Just make one of them into the full film! Then I need to actually flesh it out. With this, I can get away with it kind of sucking because it makes narrative sense. Oh, so you're genuinely just a hack! Hey! I... I don't know why I even bother with you. 